Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, this is Bailey. I'm going to start doing videos again. Uh, I stopped doing videos. I just was trying to concentrate on my job. I do a lot of driving for my job, so when I'm not, you know, listening to uh, Dave Matthews Band, uh, Sublime, or listening to an audiobook, I'm going to be doing video blogs while I travel. So it's very, it's very exciting to do. I'm excited to start doing this again and uh, you know, putting my YouTube videos back. So here's a video that I want to share with you on why I'm not a vegan and the decision I made to not be a vegan. So uh, I went to nutrition school and um, in one of the months, they said they pledged for you to be a vegan for a month if you weren't a vegan. So I was like, you know what? You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to be a vegan for a month. And, you know, I started, and when I first started, I felt really good. Now, this was like three or four years ago. I felt extremely good. And uh, it was great. But then I started having all these mood swings, and I was hungry all of the time. I was never full. And I wasn't getting the sensation that I get from when I was eating meat. Uh, I wasn't getting that sensation. I wasn't getting fulfilled with food. It was more like I would eat all this food and I would just like, I would feel good. I'd feel light. I'd feel skinny. Um, but I just didn't feel good. So weeks and weeks went on end. I was just freaking hungry, had you know bad mood swings and all that stuff. And then I started having dreams. And I had this dream a couple times and that's when I realized that I need to stop. So um, I had the dream that I was in the wilderness like a monkey. I was like Tarzan. I wasn't like a monkey, but I was like in the wilderness like, like Tarzan. Like I was like, hoo, hoo, hoo. Like just going in the trees and doing all this. And I was like, I had this knife and I was just like going to the woods. It was beautiful. Like I felt like really good, but I felt this urge and I saw this animal. I don't even know what the animal was, but I went up to that animal and ran up to it and just killed it, sliced its throat and started bleeding. And I just started eating the blood and just eating this animal raw. I don't even know what the animal was, but I just started eating it. I just felt fulfilled and just eat it. I felt disgusted because there was blood all over me, but I just needed that meat. And I woke up and I just couldn't go back to sleep. And like, it was just like, it was really weird. So, you know, I thought about it a little bit, you know, ate my juice and my kale salad and, uh, was it kombucha and whatever whatever I was drinking actually I'm drinking kombucha right now just got some this is some good stuff maca baby but um and then I was just like I just didn't feel good all day and I went to sleep very early because I was like exhausted I was like I was I wasn't like my brain wasn't working right and I had the a very similar dream so I had the dream twice and then I was a vegan and then went to sleep. I So I had the dream three times, very similar dream. So I was like, okay, maybe my body is telling me I need to eat some meat. So then, you know, I got, I went to Whole Foods and got a filet mignon and seared it and put butter and, you know, did some broccoli and, you know, I did some mushrooms on top and I'm gonna tell you something. That meat was the best thing that ever happened to me that month. Even though I was feeling light and skinny, I was having all of these emotional problems. So, one of the biggest reasons why I'm not a vegan is because my body was telling me that I needed to eat meat through my dreams. And I know this is kinda of like weird to think about, but it was true. So. I don't get, first of all, I don't get this sensation of when I eat meat. I don't get the feeling of gratification and the sensation and the, the contentment of after I get done eating a big juicy steak. You know, obviously I eat healthy. 
And then again, when I was a vegan, I was taking a lot of supplements because I wasn't feeling good. My body wasn't feeling good. I was taking iron supplements and B12 and B vitamins, and I've noticed when I eat meat, I don't need to take so many supplements. Um, I was way more calm. I wasn't as ADD. I felt more masculine when I eat meat. When I was a vegan, I felt like I was sensitive, more, way more sensitive. And you know how you see, you know, you see that, you know, you see like a vegan, you see like a skinny vegan, and they're like, they look more girly than like manly. I mean, that's just like a stereotype because you were eating Mother Nature. Because Mother Nature is a feminine energy, right? And killing as a hunter, when you're a hunter and gather, that is a masculine energy. So, you know, it's like, you know, eat your, eat your meat, boy. You know, eat your meat, eat your meat. Um, you know, it's a masculine energy, right? So, you know, I just, I notice when I eat meat, you know, but the thing about it is, I'm not eating meat every single meal because Americans, especially Americans, overemphasize and overeat meat like you wouldn't even understand. I mean, you do understand. I mean, it's in every single menu. Now, majority of my diet is a plant-based diet. Like, for example, I had a green juice this morning, eggs. Now, the thing about it is, I buy eggs. I don't buy the cheap eggs. I buy pasteurized eggs that are or uh, vegetarian fed. Now, I, my eggs are expensive. They're like $5.99 to $6.99 a dozen. But I know the eggs are a high quality egg. And people are like, oh, I don't want to spend all that money on eggs. But they know people spend, you know, three to five dollars on a latte at, you know, at a coffee shop every single day. I mean, are you kidding me? So, so my my meat that I have is from Whole Foods and it's level five. The bacon that I use is level five gray. Now there's one through five. Now this is local owned farms. I mean, no antibiotics in the meat whatsoever. And I feel good after I eat this. So I had a green juice, three eggs and bacon this morning. And now I'm having this kombucha. I mean, that's a good, that's good, that's a good way to start your day. And, you know, you know, I'll probably have like a, a salad with, you know, some, you know, some beef or something to the, tonight or, you know, a chicken sandwich, uh, you know, but the majority of the food I eat is organic and I feel better when I eat it. And especially because I am an O blood type and people that are, don't understand the O blood type mentality because the O blood type, um, because O blood type is the oldest blood type and we were hunters and gatherers for our food. So if you're an A blood type or an AB blood type or a B blood type, you would be more, you know, you know, you would be more a vegan and it's healthier for you to be a vegan. Now, as I'm an O blood type, it is healthier for me to be a meat eater. Okay. You know, I don't, I don't go exactly with the O blood type. Like, I don't do exact what my O blood type diet, you know, says about me. But I do as, you know, as good as I can. And I've noticed that meat is extremely important for my diet. Now, if you're A blood type or AB blood type. Oh, yeah, and another thing. When I was a vegan, I started getting sick. I started getting sick, which is crazy because I don't get sick anymore because of what I eat and the what I put in my body and what, you know, the media that I put in my body and the videos and movies I see, I do the right things for that. So, you know, if you're an A blood type, be a vegan, but as of my body right now, and the one thing about vegans is they are they're sensitive because they have more feminine energy to them because they're only eating feminine energy. They're only eating mother nature. They're not eating grounded energy. Now, um, weirdly enough, I, I've dated a lot of vegans and, you know, been on dates with them. And the hardest thing 
in the world to go on a date with a gluten-free vegan, you can <laughs> you cannot go on a date with a gluten-free vegan. It is literally impossible. So, if you're a gluten-free vegan, I will never go on a date with you. Ever. <laughs> now, if you're a yoga teacher, I'll definitely go on a date with you because you're awesome. Yoga teachers, hit me up. But, you know, that's why I'm not a vegan. And um, if you are a vegan, don't, don't, you know, whine about what I'm saying. The reason why I don't whine is because my meat that I eat is only the best. I don't, I spend a lot of money on my meat. I cook one to two times a day. I spend a lot of money on my food. I spend a lot of money on my high quality food because I know if you spend money on food, you're gonna feel good, you're gonna feel amazing, and that's what life's about. That's what my life's about. It's about feeling good and feeling amazing. So, that's all I really wanted to say to you guys today. If you're O blood type, don't be a vegan, you'll get sick. Um, if you're A blood type, do it. Um, you know, if you think all this stuff that I'm saying is BS, then whatever. I'm sure I'm going to get some comments in the future of, you know, whiny vegans saying, oh, you're killing animals, factory farms. Do not, I do not eat any food from factory farms. Well, actually, sometimes I do. Any cooked food that I cook in my house, I do not eat it from factory farms. So, just be aware of what you eat. Be aware of the meat you eat. Uh, be aware of the people you're around. Be aware of the media you are listening to because most of the media is garbage. Uh, and just, you know, just live your life and have fun. That's all I really want to say. Uh, and I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Remember, if you're in sales, baby, don't sell them, tell them.